this is the big one. We're actually going out there and we're going to brand New Zealand consistently for the first time. This can only be good for New Zealand, but the campaign has to be good that follows it. Ten years ago, the tourism industry in New Zealand started on a journey, a journey that is still going strong. In a cluttered international marketplace, you do need a purity of key message to really cut through, otherwise you just get lost in the chatter. We are building a brand for New Zealand that will position it perfectly with the world need in the next five to ten years. No, no question about that. Back then, they knew that this beautiful country at the bottom of the planet needed to tell the world one thing. But the big question was, what is that one thing? I can remember being on a plane with a couple of other guys and I wrote it on a piece of paper and I felt good about it. Initially I came up with the line, just pure New Zealand. And I thought, it is pure, but it needs something extra. It needs something more than just pure New Zealand. It wasn't, didn't quite have the magic to it. 100% pure is almost a contradiction because pure should be 100%, but it just reinforces it. You know, 100% really brings it to life, I think. When I was first presented with 100% pure New Zealand, and my reaction was, this might be a tough ask, but it's exactly where the world was heading and it is exactly what New Zealand could offer. And so the feeling was, if we could hold this long enough, we would end up where the world wanted to be in a few years' time. And that's what's happened. They're saying 100% pure adventure, 100% pure escapism, pure spirit, all those things I agree with. I think in the end of the day, my ambition and hope for New Zealand is that it'll be 100% pure in all respects. There is freedom within, there is now the foundation was laid, but it was just the beginning. Over the last 10 years, the campaign evolved. Soon, learnings and research pinpointed interactive travellers as the ideal target for New Zealand, those who want authentic experiences. But 100% pure New Zealand has always remained the core. So, would it be strong enough? Would it get New Zealand from its barely visible position in the global tourism market to where we aim to be? The 100% Pure campaign has had an amazing impact in the offshore marketplace. I think the 100% Pure has been an absolutely terrific campaign. It helped put New Zealand on the map and it did very well. Um, in many surveys it's always coming up top of the wish list of where people want to go. Has this campaign shown results? Well, clearly. Since we launched it, we've had a 50% growth in the number of international tourists. And I think we probably have done better there than most other countries in the world. On top of that, we've seen a significant growth in foreign exchange earnings. Traffic to our website is now sort of 10 million hits a year. It was about one and a half when we started. Landscape of this calibre is what gave New Zealand the edge when it came to selecting our country of the year. This week, Jack heads to the birthplace of adrenaline, New Zealand. Over a billion people saw coverage featuring New Zealand attributable to the Tourism New Zealand International Media Program in 2007 to 2008 alone. Oh my God. Like how much better does it, does it get? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. There's no way. Merely by results, New Zealand has been one of the hottest destinations in the world um, in essentially what is a fashion business for the past five, six, seven years. One of the most important parts of this campaign has been the way in which the whole industry has come in behind it and made it theirs. We started off with 100% pure New Zealand and people said, yeah, is this right? Is this right for me? After that debate, they very quickly came round and said, yeah, am I right for the brand? Let's live up to this promise. And for that, I thank them, both those who are in New Zealand and those internationally, because without them saying that they believe in this, it would never be where it is today. Together, this has created one of the best tourism brands in the world. So many dreams swinging out of the blue. The campaign has endured for 10 years for two reasons, in my view. One is that it has been consistently executed with a really determined strategy. But there's a second reason, which is uh, much more profound, and, and that's that Actually, it's true. New Zealand is pure. It's pure adventure. It's pure hospitality. Uh, it's pure jaw-dropping, inspiring landscapes. So there's no great dissonance between the, the message and the experience. You know, and that's where brands obviously fail often, as the, the customer experience doesn't match. You know, what's on the billboard. The 100% Pure New Zealand Campaign Foundation proved incredibly durable and flexible. In the 10 years since it began, it has seen dramatic changes and world-leading innovations. 
Tourism New Zealand was the first national tourism organisation to form relationships with global channels like Discovery, Google and YouTube. And the campaign has constantly been innovative at getting attention and attracting tourists. 100% Pure New Zealand has appeared twice at the Chelsea Garden Show. It's appeared as a giant rugby ball in London and next to the Eiffel Tower in Paris. The campaign's longevity still reflects the strong foundation that was put down back in 1999. But its strength continues by keeping it fresh and grabbing opportunities, such as those presented by Lord of the Rings, which had significant global exposure. So Tourism New Zealand is hitting the streets in Aussie. It captured Lions supporters. It even has the Brits advertising to themselves. And there is already a strong campaign underway for the 2011 Rugby World Cup. Don't drop the ball here. People will have noticed that we've added campaigns to the message over the last few years. We started with the What's On campaign in Australia. And last year we opened up with What Do You Say UK. Just feel free. So what do you say UK? Now they're not diluting the 100% pure New Zealand message at all. We only run those where we already have that strong brand awareness for our major campaign. And they pick up on that and help convert people's interest into coming to the country. So they're a very important element to sort of drive the campaign harder. But the main campaign still stays and it's the most important part of the mix. The New Zealand campaign stands out among tourism campaigns in that it is always fresh and unique and consistent in its messaging. However, there's always a tendency to fall into the cliches and this is why you need to constantly uh, renew the creative and renew the media strategy, always to come, keep surprising the consumer. Any brand has to have the ability to stand for something consistently, but at the same time revitalise it and invest it with fresh meaning, fresh ways of seeing something the consumer thought was familiar. And I think what the youngest country thought has been able to do over the past couple of years is show that you can do that with 100% pure New Zealand. And actually the relevance of 100% pure is simply increased much more dramatically by world events at the moment because people want there to be this kind of place more than they did five years ago actually. You know, the importance of that as a kind of a, a lighthouse for the world is greater than ever. These islands waited until every other country had been discovered before any human ever set foot here. Welcome to the youngest country on Earth. 100% Pure is a really strong brand. There's never been a better time. It really resonates in this day and age for all sorts of reasons. Please don't tinker with it. 100% Pure is very definitely the right message for New Zealand. Full marks to Tourism New Zealand for sticking with it for 10 years and really developing a significant awareness of New Zealand through the 100% Pure campaign. It would be an astonishingly cataclysmic mistake um, to move away from this line of advertising because so much has been invested in it, we know it works, and it has a great power to compound that effectiveness yet through new permutations. This is a beautiful, beautiful country, and if you come here, you will not be disappointed. There's a tendency in sort of tourism campaigns to chop and change very quickly, almost to have a seasonal approach. And I don't think that's right. You know, you've got to have a certain amount of consistency in your messaging. And with the 100% Pure New Zealand campaign, I think, you know, the messaging is just right. And I think it should remain at the forefront of the tourism campaign for New Zealand for the next uh, five years, probably the next decade. Think about where we've ended up being placed now. It's not as if this is something that we've wasted over 10 years. We've built it over 10 years to the point where it now ranks in the top 20 of global brands. Now that's a very powerful tool for our country for now and for the future.